Hungry? Why not ask your doctor about meat? It's dead, and it's made from animals, so you know it's natural. Of course, most meat does contain large doses of antibiotics needed to keep animals alive in the tiny cramped spaces used in factory farming, so meat may cause health problems. In many cases, eating meat has been found to contribute to obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and colon cancer. Not a nice way to go. Tell your doctor if you don't want to ingest artificial hormones, which may cause endocrine disorders, reproductive problems, and even impotence, as meat does contain these. Ever more virulent meat-borne diseases like E. coli and salmonella may cause abdominal cramps, nausea, bloody diarrhea, vomiting, and fever, especially in young children. And meat-borne listeria and botulism may cause spontaneous miscarriage and death. Remember, the production of meat will dramatically increase the rate at which we destroy the planet. After all, today's livestock produces over 87,000 pounds of feces per second. And you thought oil spills made a mess. <laughs> so be sure to talk to your doctor about meat, environmental devastation, health problems, suffering for animals, and people. That's a meal that'll stick to your ribs. Eating meat may cause embarrassment when you try to explain to your kids why some pets are family members but other pets are gruesomely slaughtered and served as food. Since more than a third of all raw materials and fossil fuels consumed in the United States are used in meat production, eating meat may erase your environmentalism. Producing a single hamburger patty takes enough fuel to drive 20 miles and destroys five times its weight in topsoil. Don't forget that eating meat also means killing living creatures solely for our pleasure, which usually makes good-hearted normal people feel a little uncomfortable. We're just saying is all. <laughs>